crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys. Um, I'm here to change Savannah. Right now, um, right now she is in her little Santa sleeper. And I'm gonna be changing her into this nice, warm, cozy fleece sleeper with penguins on it. Um, because it is getting pretty cold here. We've had some snow lately um, and things like that. So I figure it's time for her to get into something a little warmer. So um, as I change her, I wanted to discuss a topic today. And I think it's a topic that I've heard a couple of other people talk about on their channel in the past, um, maybe a couple years ago, but I don't think I've ever talked about it on my channel. And that is, um, how do you feel or how would you feel if someone that didn't know about your YouTube channel came across your YouTube channel channel or found your YouTube channel. Has that ever happened to you? How did you feel about it? How did you deal with it? Um, especially in the case of say like someone from your job found your YouTube channel, um, what was their reaction to it? And how did you feel about it and respond to it? And um, the reason that I bring this up is because I have always tried to really be careful to not use my full name on my channel. Um, I've tried really really hard to make sure that if someone googles my full legal name that they will not find my YouTube channel. And the reason for that being that, you know, like, yes, pretty much all of my family and friends are aware of my YouTube channel, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, but things in terms of, like, me working as a nanny, I just, I've always had a thing where I really wasn't, um comfortable with um, the families I look after knowing about my videos and I guess like the main reason being I know that our hobby is still not a mainstream hobby and if you're not in the hobby yourself I know that some people who are not in the hobby can judge us people that are in the hobby. Um, I mean, we, we see it on our YouTube channels all the time, random people. I don't know how people um, who aren't into Reborn Dolls get Reborn Doll videos recommended to them. It's the weird and mystifying... Um, parts of the YouTube algorithm, I guess. Um, so as we know, sometimes we get people who are not into the hobby that somehow come across our video and they think we are mentally insane and that we have something wrong with us uh, for having this hobby. You know how it goes and they leave nasty comments on the videos saying like, what's wrong with you? Oh, this is sick. Um, you're crazy. That looks like you're carting around a dead baby. I mean, I have heard it all, guys. I've heard it all. Um, and, you know, 
as I when I first started getting comments like that obviously it was a shock and it hurt but now that I've been doing this for so long those types of comments I just let them roll off my back now um, it, it doesn't matter to me anymore but I guess my concern has always been that you know if I am interviewing for a nanny job um, my fear is that I will be judged that way that you know a potential family looking to hire me you know may completely overlook all of my qualifications and high recommendations um, because they find my YouTube channel and see that I collect dolls and might think that there's something mentally wrong with me and not hire me. So I have always taken like every precaution and, and I periodically, a couple of times a year, I will always um, go and Google <laughs> my name and make sure that nothing comes up. Now, one thing that will always come up and I can't seem to do anything about that, um, I guess the only way I could do that is probably to take my real name off of the website, is my reborning nursery, like Crystal's Little Monkeys. Um, but I have never really been too concerned about that because I figure that if they find that like they'll realize that that's like just a side job like I make dolls to sell and like I don't think uh you know I've never really had any issue with it um I've had some families that have found that and found it quite fascinating that and quite impressive um with my artistic skills in making the reborn dolls and that was it but my whole thing is them finding out that I collect them and make videos with them and like you know what if they found one of my role play videos and they think that like I actually think these dolls are real or something and think that I am not like mentally fit to care for their child that's kind of always on the back of my mind and I know that really realistically like for me, if that's what the family believes and thinks, then they're not really the right match for me anyway. Um, but it's just always been on my mind. And I have had a couple of situations. Um, so I had many, many years ago, ba ba bleh, sorry, I got tongue tied there. Back when I was working full time in a daycare center, um, so this was after I was diagnosed with lupus. Um, when I was diagnosed with lupus, I was doing my very first nanny job and I was full-time nanny. Um, I lost that job due to my health. And then I found a temporary part-time nanny job. From there, I decided to try going back to work full-time in daycare. So I was in the daycare and I was like, constantly picking up all the germs at the daycare was constantly sick and was just getting like my lupus that had sort of been under control started to go haywire and that's when I kind of you know I was there for nine months and during that time I it was when I really realized that I can no longer work in daycare because of the germs first and foremost and me having a compromised immune system like being around in a room full of 15 kids. I had cold after cold after cold, flu after flu. I mean, I never really had a moment in those nine months where I wasn't sick. And also the company, you know, I was working for a company at the daycare and you know over time they started to have issues with me having to take lots of time off for doctor's appointments so I just realized it was best for my mental and physical health to leave daycare and find a part-time nanny job and that's when I started with the part-time nanny well I started looking for that nanny job while I was still working at the daycare and 
I was I decided to try out a nanny agency. I joined a nanny agency and um you know, they I did notice in their policy. So this was sort of on me. This was kind of my fault in a way because I probably should not have signed the contract and realized that they weren't for me just from this alone. But as part of their contract, in part of their contract, it had said that I was not to have any social media presence whatsoever. And I knew YouTube was social media presence. And at that time, YouTube wasn't really well known as like a job. Um, I had just started making money off YouTube at that, or actually no, I don't even think I was making money off of YouTube at that point. No, I was not. I didn't start making money off of YouTube until late 2013 is when I applied for monetization. So I wasn't even making, um, money. So I really could have just deleted my channel, but I didn't because at that time I was making the lupus, uh, vlogs and I was really enjoying, um, talking with other lupus patients in the community and learning things and getting support from each other and all that. I was also starting to get into sharing a little bit about my dolls at that time as well. Um, so I thought, well, I don't, you know, I don't use my real name on my channel, so it should be fine. They won't find my YouTube channel. It, they won't know. <laughs> so, um, I gambled and I signed on. A couple months goes by and I get a, I don't know if it was a phone call or an email, but I got a I got it contacted by the agency. They said um, a family who was interested in you, um, they found their, they found your YouTube channel. And, you know, our contract says you are not supposed to have a social media um, following. Um, and we particularly had an issue, I, I think like the family particularly had an issue with a video that was from my 2017 meetup in Minneapolis with the, um, Real Care Baby Think It Over type dolls. And it was literally just, it was just a video of all of us hanging out in my hotel room with our babies and um, someone had the Ready or Not Taught turned on and it started crying. And we passed the Ready or Not Taught to Nicole's husband, Brian, um, to let him try to figure out what the baby needed. And that's all it was. And then I think like at one point, you know, there was sort of like a dirty joke thrown around um, as some of us were chatting in the background. <sighs> you know, I would think it, it was nothing harmful, but apparently they had an issue with it. Um, and so the agency dropped me. And at that time I asked them, um, how did they find my channel? And they said that they had just Googled my name and this particular video came up and they linked to the video that came up. And it was a lupus vlog that I had done where I was talking about um, health-wise having to leave um, the daycare setting and that I was looking for a part-time nanny job. Um, and they had an issue with the fact that I hadn't told the daycare that I was looking for another job. And I'm thinking, but I don't know of anyone that tells their employer they're looking for another job. Like I was planning to give the appropriate notice, you know, and I did, I gave my two weeks notice, which is what was in my contract. Like I followed all the rules. I left the daycare on completely good terms. Everyone there loved me. I loved the staff that I worked with and no one had any problems with me. They actually, everyone was sad to see me go. And, you know, they were, you know, they felt bad for my situation and everything. So, um, <laughs> you know, but it was like, it was something that, you know, I just, 
obviously a lot of people like you're not going to just tell your employer that you're looking for another job especially when it comes down to like health situations um so anyway so i went and had a look at that video and came to find out that for some reason i guess i had accidentally wrote my full name in the description of that video so I was like, oh crap, that's how it came up. So I deleted that and then I Googled myself and I found a couple of other videos on my YouTube channel. I think mostly singing videos because when I like started my YouTube channel, I started my YouTube channel for my music. I wanted to put out videos of me singing and was hoping maybe I would be discovered. <laughs> so I was putting my actual real name in the description of the videos for that reason. So I went and I removed my name from every description of every video that had that. So then it was fine. Um, after a couple of days, the, the search engine updated and when you would Google my name, you would not find my YouTube channel at all. Um, fast forward, so while I was um, working just my previous job here, um, for those couple of months before I unfortunately had to be let go um, just due to the change in the family situation. Um, it had nothing to do with me and it had nothing to, to do about this that I'm going to talk about. Anyways, there was a thing one day and it, and it ended up coming up in conversation. I was already working for them at this time. Um, it came up in a conversation that they actually were aware that I had a YouTube channel. Um, they said prior to hiring me that when they had done a background check on me that they discovered I had a YouTube channel. And they were like, it's amazing. We love it. We totally support it. And they, and they didn't say any more about it. They didn't mention the dolls. They didn't mention my hobby. Nothing. They just kind of left it at that, that, you know, it was awesome. And I was sort of taken aback because I was kind of like, oh, okay. Like, I mean, it was great that they were saying they were supportive of it and that they, you know thought it was awesome and everything but my self-consciousness was like oh gosh like now they know that I have reborn dolls and that like all this stuff and I don't know what videos they've watched or haven't watched and I'm kind of thinking like maybe they know a lot more about my health situation than I've told them or like I don't know so um it just made me like you know I felt a little awkward for a couple of days there just with that information so this is where you know this topic came up and I really thought it would be interesting to talk about on my channel like do you guys ever have concerns of your job finding out about your YouTube channel and like how do you feel about that and how do you think it would be handled what would your co-workers or your boss think um like is it a concern to you so um yeah and so anyways like I said I, I periodically google myself and I came to find out that um I think they found my this time the most recent time I think they found my YouTube channel because um they found I believe they probably found it through my uh Facebook page for either Crystal's Little Monkeys or my YouTube channel because I have two Facebook pages for those. One for my channel and one for Crystal's Little Monkeys. And um, because like when I would Google my name, you know how like you Google, the first thing that comes up is websites. Well, there was nothing on, on under the websites coming up, nothing at all. Um, just like my Canadian nanny profile, um, I don't even know if Crystal's Little Monkeys page was, website was even coming up. Um, just like some random Backstreet Boy forums <laughs> that I had posted in years ago. Um, a comment I had left on a family member's um, in memoriam page. You know, just very basic things like that. Like nothing really came up in the website section. So then I would I clicked over to videos and again none of my uh, YouTube channel videos popped up under videos so I was like okay good um, so there's I don't think they could have found anything that way um, then I clicked on images 
and some images from, uh, I believe it was Crystal's Little Monkey's uh, Facebook page popped up. And so this is when I started to go through my Facebook pages. I realized that there was some times where I was responding to comments on those pages under my personal profile page and not my, like, not my page name. So instead of commenting at, as Life with Crystal or Crystal's Little Monkeys, I was responding with my actual name, my per personal profile. So I was like, oh no. Um, and so I'm thinking like that's how it directed them to that because my name was on the page. And um, obviously like with Crystal's Little Monkeys, sometimes I was posting links to certain YouTube videos that I felt dealt with my business, like my Crystal's Little Monkeys business. Um, and then I figured that's how they figured it out. So I went through both of my Facebook pages with a fine tooth comb and I periodically go through and make sure that anything I've recently commented on, I commented on under my Facebook page name and not my personal profile name. Um, and so, and then I also actually adjusted some settings on my Facebook pages to make sure that when I post or comment, it goes under the page name and not my personal profile name. So that's been good. And so now everything's updated again on the Google search. And when you search my full name, um, none of that stuff comes up anymore. Um, just my Etsy shop comes up, which I have no issue with. And there's nothing on, uh, as far as I know, on my Etsy page that links to YouTube. At least I hope not. <laughs> Um, actually, now that I think about it, I do link to demo videos on my channel. So I might want to move those videos to a, um, to another channel, actually, just like a dead channel that I have, like I, I have a dead channel under my actual name. So I'm thinking maybe I should just move those there and then, um, link to the, so that there's no other videos that they can find. But anyways, like these are just things that like, I think a lot of people don't think about if you want your privacy and you don't want your name, even just like for privacy reasons, and you don't want your real name associated with your channel. Um, you, you got to make sure of these things. So I've taken all these steps and it's been great. And then my most recent job interview, which went really well, by the way, and I did finally get um, contacted back from the family. They really, really liked me. They said that I was their strongest candidate. Um, however, right now they're putting finding a nanny on hold um, because they have to figure out what's happening with the mom's job first because um, she would be going back from mat leave. And so apparently there's been a lot of changes at her work since she's been on mat leave. So they can't, um, you know, give me set hours or, or, you know, give me a set start day or hire me or whatever until they know what's going on on that end. Um, but they really liked me and everything like that. And it sounded like they would hire me once if they get this stuff sorted out. But then the mom proceeded to ask me, she said, she said they did a background check and they checked um, social media and they found my Facebook profile. Now my Facebook, my personal Facebook profile is on private. You have to be my friend on my friend list to view anything on my Facebook page. So I thought, but she said, oh, I noticed on your Facebook page that you collect dolls. And she goes, it looks like maybe like, I don't, I don't know, because I don't know much about dolls, but she goes, it, it looks like maybe like American Girl dolls or something. So I thought that was interesting. She didn't mention the Reborns. Um, and I was thinking like, how would she have seen that on my Facebook page? Because my Facebook page is private. Well, it turns out my guess is it was my profile pictures. And so, um, cause your profile picture is always public. And so what happened was, I guess I never, whenever I would update my profile picture, I would never change my old 
profile pictures to private. So all my past profile pictures were public and some of those had dolls in them. Uh, so she was like, oh, I, so I noticed you collect dolls and I find that very interesting and can you tell me more about it? And I, I was kind of like, um, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> It was kind of an on-the-spot kind of question. So anyways, I just told her basically what I've always told you guys is that I've always loved dolls my whole life and I just, it's a fun hobby that I enjoy collecting them. I did mention that I also make some and sell some in my spare time. So it's sort of like a little side income for me and that. And she was like, oh, interesting, you know, but, and then that was it. Like she kind of dropped it, but it was kind of like a uh, okay, like, you know, I just hope that she wasn't viewing it as something weird or crazy, you know? Like, it's just, we know in our hobby, the ones that are in the hobby, we know we're not crazy. We know we don't think our dolls are real. We know that they're dolls. We know what our intentions are in this hobby, and we know that it's just a fun hobby, and that outside of the hobby, we are regular people like everyone else. But people outside the hobby don't always view it, view it that way, right? So, um, so I guess all that to say, it's made me a little more cautious to, you know, keep checking things out to make sure that everything is as private as possible. Uh, but it is the risk that we take putting ourselves out there online. Um, so yeah, it, but it's also just made me a little bit more aware that I should, because I, I know that over the years I have overshared on my channel in a lot of areas. And so I think like going into 2020 now, like after all of these little encounters and blips, it's kind of like, I think I, I, I still want to share with you guys, but I think I'm now going to go into things with being a little more conscious of what I talk about on my channel um, in terms of work, in terms of who I work for, um, what my job entails, um, and even like in regards to my things with my health like I, I'm gonna like I will still discuss my my lupus and stuff with you guys but I think I'm gonna try to be a little more conscious of what I'm sharing so that I'm not oversharing and I'm not putting something out there that I that could potentially harm me being hired um, but with that said, I had another interview today with another family that went extremely well and they actually made it sound like I'm basically the only candidate that they decided to hire because they were so impressed with my resume and my reference letters. Um, they love the fact that I enjoy taking children on outings because that, that's something that really is important to them for their child. So they were impressed with that. Um, they were impressed with my background. Um, so it's sounding promising with this other family. Um, so I should know in the next couple of weeks, I believe, because she has to check my references and um, get back to me and if I get the job, I should be starting somewhere around the end of February. So fingers crossed for me, hopefully. Um, I really enjoyed meeting with them today. They seemed very nice. And um, yeah, so that's it for that. But yeah, leave your comments in the description below and let me know what your thoughts are on the topic. Um, you know, have you encountered that where, you know, someone you didn't exactly want to find your channel did or like, I don't know, just generally what your thoughts are about that topic. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, there's Savannah all snug in her little penguin pajamas. And I love these little fleece sleepers because they're so soft and cuddly. And they're really perfect for the winter. And she just looks super adorable. And I totally forgot to show you her diaper because she has that um, 
Bum Genius newborn size diaper on and I totally forgot to show it to you so I'll have to do that the next time I make a video with her. But thanks so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos and we'll see you next time. Bye!